You can continue to take the beaten path of investing in stocks one by one. Or you can reach for Sector Spider ETFs. They divide the entire S&P 500 into nine distinct sectors, like financial, or technology. Simply choose the sectors that best match your investment goals. With Sector Spiders, you'll experience the diversification of mutual funds, the transparency of an index, and the all-day tradability of stocks. Ready to harness the power of a stock alternative? Before investing, consider the fund's investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Go to SectorSpiders.com for perspectives containing this information. Read it carefully. Visit us at SectorSpiders.com. Welcome to Marketplace Minute. I'm Ron DeLegge with ETF Guide. Should you own commodities? Well, commodities are one of those asset classes that aren't easy to get exposure to. Most of us can't take delivery for a herd of pork bellies. And as for those 500 barrels of oil, well, you know, there's just not enough room in the garage. It's already overstuffed with too much junk. So how can an investor get low cost and easy exposure to commodities. Well, in this episode, I'm gonna share with you a couple of ideas, a couple of ticker symbols for getting exposure to commodities. Let's start with ticker symbol GCC. That's the Greenhaven Commodities ETF. Now, this particular fund owns a basket of 17 different commodities. It equally weights all of them, uh, the future contracts within the uh, fund. Now, you've got commodities such as corn, uh, exposure to energy commodities like oil, and then of course there's some exposure to metals. But the beauty of GCC is that it equally weights all 17 of those different commodities so that you don't have one particular commodity become too much of an influence on the fund's performance. So now that's a pure play. Again, that's ticker symbol GCC. Another way to get exposure to commodities is through a stock ETF that is linked to companies in the commodities field. For example, ticker symbol XLB, which is the basic materials select sector spider ETF. Now this particular ETF, again, contains stocks very closely tied to the commodity sector. So you've got companies like chemical and construction material makers, container and package makers, metal companies. You also have some miners in there. Again, that's ticker symbol XLB. You also get a little bit of a dividend, which you don't usually get with a, a pure play commodity type of ETF. So those are just some ideas on how to get low cost and easy exposure to commodities. Owning commodity ETFs are one way to hedge against the constant threat of future inflation. That does it for another episode of Marketplace Minute. I'm Ron DeLegge with ETF Guide. Thanks for watching.